Hello, so this is going to be a video on something quite interesting, a converted piece of military technology to act as a fire helmet. So what this is, as far as I'm aware, is a West German fire helmet. And um, what happened is during the Cold War, after the end of the Second World War, West Germany had a lot of old um, Stauhelms laying around from the sort of Nazi period. And for obvious reasons, they didn't want to give the Bundeswehr, um, you know, the modern German army, old Nazi stuff because, you know, they were trying to move on from that period of history. But they still wanted to make use of the helmets and not throw them away. So what they ended up doing is, it may have been more than just the fire service, but they basically got these old Stauhelms, they painted them white or with fluorescent paint, um, then they retrofitted them to have some fireman's sort of equipment in them, and then they were given to the fire service. So here's one in fairly good condition, it's missing its visor but I am going to replace that more details on that in a bit. So basically what you've got with this helmet is you've got an actual Stauhelm. This has been painted with a really bright fluorescent um, sort of glow-in-the-dark paint that you'll see in a minute when I turn the lights off. Um, it's got a visor fitted to it. The visor is actually held on just via a sort of spring tension thing at the back as you can see. So that is literally just held on via a um, big spring. Then the visor goes up and down. So this one is missing its actual visor. When I was looking at on these, these on Google Images, it seems because these are so often retrofitted, um, there was no kind of unique way they did them. So some of these had like glass or polycarbonate visors, I guess. Some of them had metal mesh visors. Some of them just had a couple of metal bars that came down a bit like those sort of baseball helmets. So, but I guess the general idea was just they'd put some sort of visor on the front of it to um, protect your face. Not all of them even had the visors. Now, if the German fire service uses the same ranking system as the British one, the two red stripes, as far as I'm aware, mean crew chief, um, which is the equivalent of sort of sergeant in some sort of fire brigades. But what that just means is it's the person who's probably in command of a fire engine and all the other firefighters are sort of underneath them on the crew. So if it's the same ranking as that, that's probably what that is. So what they did is they got the Stauhelms, as I painted them white, put the visor on. They put this sort of leather cowl around it, which I guess is to protect your neck from the heat. Um, they put more modern straps on them. Interesting enough, there's actually like a plastic bit inside there, so I guess the entire um, sort of helmet section has been retrofitted. Although that's like the old fashioned leather liner that goes around inside of like a shoelace or a bit of string holding it tight. And then the straps are better. Basically, what the, how the straps work very simple and effective is so you put the helmet on. Why this has been stored for so long, the actual um, leather cowl bit at the back doesn't work quite right, but um, never mind. So you get the straps, you get this one, you pass it through a buckle, then on the inside of it, it has a button, so just pass that through there, so you pull that to there, then you just go back around the other side, find where your button is, which is there, and button it up, there you go, you've got your chin strap all sorted. So very effective. As said, if there was a visor on here, you could put the visor up and down doing this. The cool thing about this is it means you could literally fit a visor to any helmet using this kind of mount, because it's quite a clever idea, just a big strong spring mount to keep the visor on. So anyway, as said, um, this is just kind of making more use out of World War II German technology. Now the great news, if you want one of these helmets, because Stauhelms are generally very expensive, but it turns out if you're buying a um, post-war converted Stauhelm, they are like anywhere between 20 and 50 pounds, which is really, really cheap for a Stauhelm. Because of Chernobyl, I was looking into getting a sort of Soviet firefighter style helmet, which is again, Soviet military helmets just painted white, um, with a visor mounted to them. Sort of very similar to this, just different helmet. Um, and lots of those were over £100, so I ended up going for a Stauhelm, which is generally a lot more expensive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flick the lights on, and I've also got a fluorescent, not fluorescent torch, sorry, a UV torch for me. And what I will do is I will show you the glow-in-the-dark bit of the helmet. Right, there's a bit of light coming in from the doorway, but hopefully you can actually see that this glows in the dark. Now I'll turn around for you. But, um, what I'll do is get this UV torch put it over it and what you should see happening is when the torch passes over it that area sort of has a snail trail like glow effect where um, obviously the more recently it's been charged the brighter it is and bear in mind the paint on this is probably anywhere between 30 and 60 years old so the 
brightness is probably not as good as it was when it was first painted. But this is actually quite good. I've got, at the moment, I've got this in my bedroom at the sort of foot of my bed, just because I haven't got a space to store it yet. I'll probably put this on the mannequin fairly soon. Um, but what ends up happening with this is that um, from where the ceiling light's been on throughout the day, the actual um, sort of glow-in-the-dark bit works all night. It's not as good as sort of um, a modern watch sort of, oh, I don't want that on strobe, but, you know, compared to like a modern watch's glow in the dark sort of thing, it's not as bright as that, but it is very good in terms of, um, you know, like for the age of it, how good it is. And obviously a glow in the dark fire helmet makes a lot of sense because if you're in a darkened building or out at night, there's a lot of smoke around, so uh, visibility is quite poor. Having a glow-in-the-dark helmet doesn't mean that you can probably see your fellow sort of firemen um, a lot more easily. You know, and as well, if they were responding to a road accident or something outside in the dark, um, it means they're less likely to get hit by another car or whatever if their helmets are glowing in the dark. I did put a Geiger counter against this, and I did not get a reading, so I doubt it's radium or tritium. Um, but still, cool, you know, nevertheless. But yeah, this is quite a clever thing, really. If you've got old military helmets, you might as well retrofit them to serve a future use. And it turns out fire brigade helmets are a pretty good use of that thing. So um, thanks for watching. And as I said, if you're interested in these, you can generally pick them up on eBay for the 30 to £50 sort of price range, depending on the condition of them.